this all came together because uh, me and Ryan were shooting the bowl one night talking about how awesome it would be to get out and fish in new water together. Um, we had wizards. common waters <laughs> in <laughs> Oregon that both of us had fished. Not together, but we'd fished them and we knew the rivers and we just wanted to get out and find somewhere new and find a challenge and just find a river that in all reality would probably kick our butts the first couple of times we tried it. And you know, it wasn't just me and Ryan out here, it was Ryan's son Josh, who caught the biggest fish the first day we were on the river. My best fishing buddy Mike, and Preston, cameraman extraordinaire, the guy that makes all of these videos look so great. And we got together and sat in the Rocky Mountains for a few days and just fished our hearts out. But we should probably back up and uh, tell the story of how Ryan and I met, how this all really started. I actually met Ryan on Twitter of all places. It's kind of incredible actually how uh, well Twitter works at bringing people together. I've met a lot of people uh, because of my Twitter connections and it's just amazing. But anyways, Ryan and I, we exchanged phone numbers and we started talking fly fishing. And we realized we each had the same view on fly fishing and you know what it means and we both thought about it the same way. And we knew that we had to go fishing together sometime. So we put together a trip for the spring up in Oregon on some water that we both know. But then Ryan texted me in December and he was like, hey, I gotta be in Colorado for February for work. And we both just kind of thought the same thing at the same time. We were both just like, hey, let's go fish the frying pan. We are getting ready to leave for Colorado. You excited, Josh, to fish the frying pan? Yeah. Everything we need right there, baby. Off we go. See you, Spencer. I'm, I'm jealous of the frying pan and you right now. Oh, you should be. <laughs> Well, well, Spencer, have fun, damn it. We're right, Dave. We're gonna. All right. I love you, Dad. And I love you too. Have an awesome day. We met up with Ryan and Josh in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. We're uh, gonna go meet Ryan and then head off to go grab some food. Mr. Ryan. Hey, hey! What's up, dude? Man, it's so good to see you. How are you? Oh, man. Awesome. Finally get to meet you after yeah, all this time. After how many Twitter conversations and uh, phone calls have we had? Yeah. So how was the drive? It was good. It was a good drive. So cool. I'm looking forward to dinner. I'm starving. I know. So, this is my son, Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. All right. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Uh, guy behind the camera is Preston. So he's the, you know, man. Good to meet you. Oh, gonna be like that, huh? There you go. There it is. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Welcome. Sweet. Oh my. They, uh, they brought a rollaway bed in so oh, nobody. Oh cool. yeah. sweet home. You guys took that one already? Yep. Okay. Right. The window side yet. Cool. Well, get all our stuff out of the way. This is the story of five guys who never met before coming together for one thing. Fishing. fishing. Very graciously agreed to let me borrow for the day this absolutely gorgeous Winston LT, eight eight foot nine inch rod. Just incredible. I mean, it's just the nicest rod I think I've ever been able to handle. Just about getting ready to get out there and get into the river so it's been a long time coming it feels so good to get up here
Did you see him? He hopped out of the water about two feet. And some of these yesterday were a compound rise and you could just see their mouth just come up like this. Really beautiful. Got him. Got him. I got him on the dropper? Yep. Just a little one, though. Hey. Awesome. I saw the take on that. As soon as you said that's a fish. He lost him. <laughs> he lost him again. <laughs> When you're out here, you really don't think about a lot else, and you don't really want to be disturbed. And uh, you don't want anybody bothering you. You don't want anybody in your business. You really kind of want to be by yourself. So there's really only a select few people that you'd actually want to be around you in a time like this, you know what I'm saying? So if you can actually stand to be with somebody out here, and get along, you know they're a pretty good friend if you can spend that kind of time together and uh, not get on each other's nerves when you're fishing. Watch out guys, there's some nice ones right here. Mike? Yeah. Do you think it's going to be more effective than them for the rest of the day or to keep the drives on? Um, well, for these guys, nothing. They're looking for the mice sure. This is a big one, stay back for a second. Hold on. Yeah. Big guys, really red. Oh, I got him. There you go. I think that answers the question. <laughs> That's what I see, I bet, didn't it? Yeah. 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 Good job, bud. Beautiful fish, man. Beautiful. Come on, you got the other hooks on me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, pretty, oh, pretty. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Where to learn to fish? Uh, probably fly fish, I'd say the UNA Mountains. How to start, you know? Just trial and error, lots of snags and <laughs> hitting in the trees and <laughs> just watching people. That's how I started. But yeah, ever since I got my first fish on a fly rod, it's been, been real uh, addicting for me. But yeah, the Uinta Mountains is where I learned my favorite rivers, the Pan, of course. I like uh, the Provo River, some of the Oregon rivers, won't mention no names, but <laughs> yeah. That's bad. That's the big boys we're after, but it's a fish. Got up with the micey shrimp singing out, hanging out his mouth there. Zoom in on that micey right there. There we go. Look at that. That's a brown. Look at how pretty that is. First fish in Colorado, first fish on the frying pan. Trip's been, I can go home now, I'm happy. So cold out here, the guy tips are frozen. Don't let them hook you on that shelf. Oh. Decent sized fish. Good job, man. Just keep it like that pressure. Don't let them do that. Good fish. Awesome. Nicely done. Mysis! Mysis dropper! Good job, Josh. You got it out. That's good. Okay. Good job. Wonderful. So 
really always about being able to bring somebody else along in the sport. It's it's not a solo journey. It's um, you're always learning from someone else. Just like Mike today, you know, this is the first time I ever caught a, a fish on a dropper. First time I've ever fished a double nymph and now I'm time went on for Josh and he's learned that now. So the knowledge just passes down. Sometimes it takes uh, 20 years and sometimes it takes 20 minutes. So that's the beauty of fly fishing. This is what it's all about, honestly, is just being out on the water with your friends and just enjoying life. It, it gets hard enough with everything, you know, and all the crap that you have to deal with on an everyday basis, but just getting out and just having fun and forgetting everything and losing yourself in the river and the catching, it's so refreshing. And it's probably an overused phrase when it comes to fly fishing, but it, it's true, it's just an escape. It's the perfect kind of escape for people like us whose hearts belong to the river more than just about anything else in the whole world. Holy cow, did he move? That is a big fish. There's, you see his wake under there, uh, Preston? Getting tired of my indicator going over him. Oh, got him. There you go. Gosh, that was huge. Okay. <laughs> this is what we're after. Okay, we've got to get back in the water here in a minute, so. Yeah, this. This keep him in here for a little bit. How long do you think he is? I, I gotta I gotta measure it. I have a can we hold him like that? I actually have him. That's kind of revived. He'll be alright. Two foot long. <laughs> there was actually one bigger right next to him. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was after. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, seven and a half pounds. Yeah. That's awesome. He's got some power to him now. He about got out of my hands there. Yeah. My hands are like numb. I just wanted to show a suspense so much that we kind of bows right, right here. Uh, is right there. Oh wow. Here, here's the swim away shot. Ready? Yep. <laughs> this trip, just kind of like every single trip, 
came to a close far too quickly. Ryan and his son Josh had to get back to Grand Junction where Ryan had to get on the road for services he had to do in other cities and I was headed back that way anyways to get to Utah and it wasn't a problem to take him and Josh a few hours out to Grand Junction. So what? The half stand. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. It wouldn't, this wouldn't have happened without you, Ryan. Here, man. Hey, bud. <laughs> Nice meeting you guys. Really good to meet you. It's been, yeah. been a blast. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is... Hey, Josh. <laughs> I guess that was the trip in a nutshell, honestly. It's just a bunch of guys on the river together. A lot like any fishing trip, but this one was well, this one was a bit different. Because it really was just you know a bunch of guys we'd never met before. And who knows if we'd be able to stay in each other's company out there, but we, we did. And we were able to get out there on the river and chase trout together for two days. And it's just... It's so rare to find other hobbies. It's not a hobby. Find other endeavors where this happens, and it's just—it was incredible. And that—that—that's really what the trip was in a nutshell.